Hello guys and welcome to Cat's World TV. It's Justin here. There you go. It's another daily edition of the newspaper. Right guys, can you move out of the way of the camera please? Because I am trying to do a review. Max, Max, move out of the way of the camera dude. Maxwell, Max. Right, camera out of the way please. Thank you. Right. Hello there. How you doing guys? Hope you're all well. We're just chilling. I just thought I'd do uh, a little bit of review. I've got quite a few uh, sort of um, views yesterday for the newspaper. So I guess I'm going to do it again. So here we go. Right, do you want to move your butt out the way please? Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Right, we still there. Right, you stop it then. Okay guys. Right, so first of all, sorry about that. The bloody cats are a nightmare. So death of a TV legend. So we've got Basil's tears for Mr. Derek. So telly favorite Basil Brush led tributes to his much loved co-star Derek Falls last night. So that's obviously the guy that used to work with the old puppet Basil Brush. I was scared to death of Basil Brush when I was younger. He used to scare the hell out of me. Wow, yeah, I didn't like Basil Brush. Uh, let's have a look here then. So Bradley, uh, so Bradley Bull, Rive broke me real bad. So TV host in agony after Rodeo 4. So that's Bradley Walsh, who's basically broke his back in three places after falling from a bull during a rodeo. Oh, mate, I wouldn't have done that, to be fair. No, you see that? That's, they're mad, aren't they, when those people get on those horses and they're like that. Ooh, it's not a horse, is it? It's a cow, isn't it? Or a bull, or whatever it is. Anyway, it's mad. Don't do it. Stop it, okay? Nice one. Right then, um, Italian charm for J-Lo. Italians are trying to woo Jennifer Lopez. Well, we all are, aren't we, really? Let's be honest. Uh, okay, move on. So we've got Strictly, Strictly uh, Calvin Fletcher uh, doing his little bit of a dance there. Nice bit of a funky move, so it looks like he's doing all right on there to be fair. Right, so Eve, I am Jess Heartbroken. So you know what this is about, don't you? This is about Love Island. Right, Love Island, I haven't really been watching because like I said, you lot know what my views is on Love Island. It's, there's no Caroline Flack in it. I ain't watching it, mate. It's, it's finished. It's finished. It's over. So until Caroline Flack uh, comes back, uh, I ain't going to watch it. But basically, Love Island twin Eve Gale told her heart uh, break last night after being dumped from the show. So that's one of the twins, basically. It's already gone. So there you go. Don't really surprise me, do you? So there we go. Move on. Uh, That's going on about that uh, Basil Brush guy again. So I I I or I blah, 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 blah. I R A want revenge for butchered teens. A terrorist in warning to uh, psychos. Fears were growing last night that the I R A will take revenge after the brutal murder and dismemberment of a teenager. So yeah, the I R A ain't gonna mess around, mate. To be honest with you, if you've messed around with them, then you know, whew, it's probably curtains in it really from there. So, back to the chiller. So, minus five degrees. The big freeze is back as Britain is set to shiver in bone chilling minus five degree temperatures this weekend. So, I'll believe it when I see it. And we get all these pictures of snow, don't we? And everyone sort of panics. And you get all these things on Facebook. Say, oh, it's going to snow, it's going to snow. And it doesn't, does it? So... I believe it when I see it. I don't really look at that. That's fake news until it happens, as far as I'm concerned. So, move on. It's a Rover 8 for Ram Raiders. A gang of uh, armed robbers smashed their way into a jewellery shop using a luxury Range Rover at a ter terrifying Ram Raid. The crooks were caught on CCTV. God, fair play. Well, got some balls, really, didn't you? Really, to do that. My goodness me, that looks a right mess. Why? Wow. Zombie phones danger. Britain is turning into a nation of smartphone zombies as we now spend two and a half hours a day staring at them. Well, I think a lot of people out there probably, if they're honest, they will 
probably spend a little bit more time than that on their phone. So, yeah, what do you say, really? Uh, One million reggae death plotter is caged. So that's a real life reggae par uh, Reggie Perrin, sorry, impersonated his lover over the phone in a bid to fake his death and pocket nine hundred ninety nine 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 life insurance payout. All right then, so there you go. Just be careful who you're speaking to on the phone. You don't know who it is, do you? Uh, TV star frustrated uh, by the Megan Storm. So Lewis, uh, Lewis star uh, Lawrence Fox has hit back at his critics after he was embroiled in a telly racism row about Meghan Markle. So the actor tweeted that the storm was water off a duck's back and clashing with an audience member on BBC One's Question Time on Thursday. All right then. Uh, did uh, Eminem's bomb rap disgusting? So US rap star is slammed over Ariana lyrics. Um, Eminem has been slammed by victim's family for a disgusting rap about the Manchester bomb attack which killed 22 people. Well, I, I, I listened to that before I make a comment on it because I like uh, Eminem. I listen to a lot of his music. I think it's pretty good. Um, so I won't. I'll reserve judgment for that word until I listen to the music. A lot of the time with Eminem, he's just straight talking, and that's why a lot of people like him because you know he just he just talks real. Some people don't like to hear the truth. That's the problem. You tell them the truth, and they they don't want to hear it. They want you rather tell. They'd rather you tell them lies, yeah, than you tell them the truth, yeah. And you you know that you know that. So I'll um, I'll look into that, obviously. But yeah, God bless people at Manchester Arena. It's crazy now that that happened. All the boxing that's gone on since then in that place. Wow. Do you know what I mean? Uh, hamster sleeping soundly. Former Top Gear star Rich Hammond has won a fight for extra bedrooms in his two million county property. Well, well done, mate. Yeah. Some of us have got like a a, a mouldy old flat. Yeah. No 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 money and you know. Yeah, I, what can you say really, to be fair? People like that, they got too much money, yeah? Give me some of your money then, Amster, I'll have it. I'll have it. Smelly Smokers, Jobs Band, Six Rule Blasted, a hotel boss spark fury by revealing she does not employ smokers because they smell. Whoa, mate, you can't do that. Angela Wimble, Angela Wimble, you can't do that. No. You stuck up cow. Oops, sorry. I didn't swear, but I stuck up, mate. You can't. If people want to smoke in their own time, they smoke. You know, if as long as they're not smoking at work, you can say you can't come to work, yeah, and smoke in the property or around the property to a degree. You can say that if you want it, although that's that's uh, uh, not very good either. You should be able to provide a smoking area for people to go, um, you know, and, uh, have, have a smoke at the end of the day. But, yeah, that's disgusting. You can't. You can't do that, you know. I would never work for this woman. Never. What a horrible. Right there. So, fat cat's life goes belly up. Here's the cat who got the cream and masses more food besides. Bazooka weighed 35 pounds and arrived at a shelter in North US. His owner who died from dementia and kept refilling this bowl now as uh, being helped to lose his gut. My God, this, you've got to look at this. Can you see that? That is one overweight cat, man. Stop feeding the kitty, man. Stop feeding the kitty. Uh, war on psycho uh, seagull uh, feeders. Stupid people to blame. The town plagued by seagull attacks is planning to crack down uh, on birds uh, by targeting stupid people who feed them. Yeah, this is a this is a problem. Um, it is a problem in Gloucester. We've got loads of seagulls. Don't feed seagulls. You know, I know they are creatures of God, but the problem is they only encourages them, and then they end up breeding here, and then they start attacking you. And I've been attacked by a seagull as well, but you know that's another story. Right, we've got a big battle on to preserve nature so that's so bill odding doing another article there it's a big article i'm not reading it right apart from that that's about it really kids let's have a look see what we've got in the back here though so crocky iron mike film roll a big hit with hyde sam hyde wouldn't be the first boxer to have picked up the sport after watching mike tyson yeah we all want a bit of mike tyson in it definitely 
That's the one. Mike Tyson's the one, isn't he? So there you go. Rejoice, Daniel Dubois. And Joe Joyce is the fight we want to make. That's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois. I like, I like uh, Joe Joyce. I think Joe Joyce is, um, is very good, to be fair. But so is Daniel Dubois. So that is, uh, that's another conversation. So Mac the Knife, Conor still a cut above. Conor McGregor is determined to produce a uh, victory over Donald Cerrone. So that's obviously where he's going in there now, £170. Clash with a cowboy. Uh, that should be a really, really good one, to be fair. So um, Conor's going to win it. And he, let's be honest, he's going to absolutely smash it. So if I was a better man, I would say 100% go with Conor McGregor. Um, he is going to absolutely do him, to be fair. So um, I'd be very, very surprised if, uh, if, if Conor does not come out of that victorious. So I think it's just, um, it's an easy fight for him if I'm being honest with you. I know my stuff. Best Ham Moyles has Euro dream for EastEnders. David Moyles is determined to justify his decision to choose West Ham over Everton. So there you go. Nigel Pearson once beat Jose Mourinho to a manager of the month award, desperate losing their head-to-head -head battle. There you go. No way, Jose. Golden boy Jamie, Brendan Rogers admits Jamie Vardy is desperate to finally uh, claim the Premier League's golden boot. Yeah, well, we all know that, don't we? So, I can't watch Clock Kings. Manchester City boss Pep Gladiola admits he can't be bothered watching Liverpool tomorrow because they are so far ahead of the race. Whew, that's damn skippy. Nice one, Liverpool. Yes, mate. So that's all about Liverpool, the big game tomorrow. So guys, hope you're watching it. Cracking. Right, there you go, guys. So I hope that's been good. I've enjoyed that review. I hope you do as well. Again, uh, your views will let me know whether you want me to continue doing more of these. So thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Like the channel. Have a good evening, y'all. Cheers, buddies.